Megarachne was an arthropod from the late Carboniferous of Argentina, living from 304 to 299 million years ago. These giant invertebrates are one of the most infamous instances of misidentification, with the fossil originally interpreted as a very different type of animal. As the name suggests, Megarachne was initially described as a giant prehistoric spider, by far the largest to have ever lived. With an estimated body length of 13 inches and a leg span of 20 inches, they would have easily dwarfed the Goliath bird eater, the largest spider alive today. However, the discovery of a second, more complete fossil in 2005 revealed that the creature wasn't a spider or even an arachnid at all. Instead, it was a type of Eurypterid, an incredibly diverse group of arthropods that flourished in the lakes, swamps, and oceans of the Paleozoic era. Better known as sea scorpions, these distant relatives of the horseshoe crab include animals like Pteragotus, Jacolopterus, Adelophthalmus, Megalograptus, Slimonia, and the somewhat terrestrial Hibertopterus, a much larger cousin of Megarachne. This new classification completely changed the creature, turning the giant spider of the Carboniferous coal swamps into an even stranger arthropod from a now extinct order of invertebrates. The new fossil revealed that these sea scorpions grew up to 21 inches in length and were equipped with specialized blades on their frontal appendages, likely allowing them to rake through soft sediment in pursuit of small invertebrates. These ancient arthropods lived in the chilly freshwater ecosystems of coastal floodplains, experiencing seasonal monsoons despite resting just above the Antarctic Circle. Megarachne was one of the last and strangest of the sea scorpions, an invertebrate that remains fascinating despite losing the title of giant prehistoric spider. While these freshwater sweep feeders lived their lives in ancient Argentina, the world around them was undergoing a massive ecological change. A minor extinction event known as the Carboniferous Rainforest Collapse had occurred a couple million years prior, uprooting the long-seated reign of the equatorial coal forests and their inhabitants. While these rainforests didn't entirely disappear, their increasing fragmentation combined with the dropping temperatures, shifting sea levels, and the spreading glaciers of the late Paleozoic Ice Age caused global biodiversity to dwindle. Whether it was the increasingly colder climate, the unstable seas, or any unknown factor, Megarachne would eventually become lost to history.